What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we had quite a fun battle actually against the new Spaniards and now we are going to attack their capital of Antigua and knock them out of their game. Shouldn't take too long because most of their army is destroyed, but let's take him out. I figured, considering we had quite a fun uh, to just get it over with now, uh, pretty hot heels of the last fight rather than have to deal with the odd raid or AO armies if you leave them out lying around. Okay, this is going to be because the terrain does not lend itself to an, a proper setup battle. We're going to do a big infantry assault. They've got howitzers anyway, mortars, sorry, so it's probably what was going to happen anyway. Oh no, nuts! I'm such a dumbass. For some reason I was I was like, oh no, this is gonna be a siege. No, this is gonna be an open field fight. I suck. Well, let's speed up time to get my guns up onto the ridge. We've just lost a gun battery. Gun team, I should say. We lost an artilleryman. Frustratingly, is that going to be within mortar range? So one of our gun teams is routed. So I'm set them as far back as they as they can be. Give them some more targets to shoot at, so they don't just cause my artillery to run. Is there mortars going? Yeah, their mortars are going. This might have to be a combination combination assault. Push troops around the flank, keep the mortars firing on as many different targets as we can rather than just our artillery. This guy came back so get up onto that hill. Whatever reason they won't attack that stretch of the line. Stretch of the wall, I should say. Again on the God mortars is so good. Keep running. Get the Royal Escosse up on the wall. Let's get unit, unit of Colonial Line up as a blocker. Get one unit closer to the wall. Just get really offensive here. I hear a cavalry attack. Bodyguard's gonna come out and play. Attack him! Oh no, we've changed their mind. Don't know what 
my royal escusade to get up the wall. No. Oh, did you? Oh, you didn't manage to. Uh... Get the dudes up the wall quickly enough. can just run in seemingly I mean I thought my guys would actually attack them but I guess not you guys get off the wall Grenadier's going to get thrown off of the line here. There we go. Just run in. My men are starting to turn around the fight. Thank God it's their last battle. I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, not their last battle, but, you know, once they take this fight, they've got no immediate fights afterwards because of their stupid commander me. Not really having much of an idea of uh, what the hell's going on. Yeah, you are very damaged so you just fall back. Royal Escosse, you just hold them off. for Grenadiers. There we go. These men are going to be <laughs> quite depleted after this fight. Kill that last guy. Good. Attack them. The Royal Esca says only 55 of them left. set everyone else to just charge down the wall and attack charge off the wall and attack everyone they can in the centre Kind of, uh, kind of redundant now. <laughs> You're like, hooray, we've got the cavalry in. And go, yeah, to kill the last remnants of. It's not even their general; it's their captain. Or is it? Where's their general? Oh, he's already dead. That's why it doesn't really matter. So a bunch of our guys broke. They've all broken, except the gun team. You have to admire their chutzpah. There's only two of them. The last guy. And he's there going, ah, no. Not so fast, buddy. But there they go. After a very costly attack from the idiotic general. 
territory is ours. <laughs> These men have earned a well deserved. 800 men. It's a lot. But the territory is ours. You men can fix yourselves up. Pick up the farm. Well, and that's the new Spaniards destroyed. Let's see if that gives us an opportunity to make peace and trade with Spain. Or not just peace. I was hoping for the fact that we killed their colony they might give us a break, but apparently not. Kidoki, let's take this army that's pretty unbloodied. He is going to attack the Cherokee at Teleco. So soon it will own Austin. Not Charleston. Georgia. Georgia. That, uh, that is not our territory. So I don't really care about Moose Factory. Got alive. Just because it looked badass. There we go. Put four units on one flank, put five on the other. Keep our cavalry mobile. And let the artillery do the work. These guys can't fire because they haven't got enough range. They haven't got enough range even with explosive shot anyway. Yeah, you guys can't afford to sit back. Artillery fire at range. Let my cavalry go forward and scout. Soon all my howitzers are going to hit this unit of armed tribesmen. some hidden men. There's a few more. This guy can hit this armed tribesman unit because they've been hammered by artillery. I managed to make the warrior society behind them upset. Let's get my... What are you doing? Fall you guys back behind the line. Keep you guys mobile. goes into the tribesmen. Let's get these guys onto a round shot. The Native American warriors are very good, so... Oh yeah, the Native American warriors are going to fall to our musketry. Two units dealt with, one dealt with there. Bring my cavalry back. There go the armed tribesmen. Let's hit them with cuirassiers. 
true is I don't really have visibility on where the rest of them actually are. Curiosity Air should do pretty good against them. I mean, they are melee infantry, so it might be a bit dodgy. I don't quite know where they all are. I suppose you're going to march towards the chief's bodyguard. Hold fire with my howitzers. My foot artillery. I can try and keep attacking the general's bodyguard. So my cavalry smashes into the Native American warriors. Chiefly because I don't... I'm sure they've... I mean, I know they don't have a full army, but I'm sure they've got more than this. There we go. Mow them down. Well, for the meantime, speed up time, I suppose. Aha! This isn't the first time they've done this. Hidden their chief. In the chief back amongst a bunch of their own troops. Let's keep my cavalry mobile. You guys run, run away. Okay, there we go. No, you guys don't hit the warriors. Just leg it away. Chasing me down. push the infantry up though just to clear them out these guys not quite so much about clearing them out because they are still okay run straight through my line to try and draw them straight at the center of my line rather than running around because i might these guys are hooked onto my cavalry so if i run them over here they'll run over here and if i run to the center they'll go with them whereas if i run smack bang through my line if they try and follow them directly they'll go straight into my line here I know some of them have gone hidden, but that's okay. Yeah. Come on, field artillery. men are in range to mow down the native troops. Sound bug? Yeah. Yeah, no. It's been fixed. There goes these fellas. with the uh, carcass shot are opening up. You know Bowman's still alive. No, uh, yeah, I didn't think you guys would make it to my to my uh, gun line. Curiosity has a tie, but just march them up to get them to try and into some sort of position to intercept their general. I 
think they're done for though. This garrison bowmen are going to take a few more volleys and that'll be that. You guys just attack him. There we go. Sometimes you get fed up with bows. Just swarm them. Here's more bowmen. God, I hate fight I hate fighting the Native American tribes. All my field artillery go after them. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everyone routing, so I'm going to triple speed it while my cuirassiers walk up to the chief's bodyguard, who may be hiding with more units. Oh, they are. There's another bow unit that shot my cuirassiers to pieces. Charge my cavalry in just because I've had enough of them. Reinforcements are here, although they definitely shouldn't be needed. My light cavalry is actually going down pretty quickly against these garrison bowmen. Interesting. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Glad that's. There we go. Lost a lot more men than I'd like, but territory is ours. Let's repair my troops. We can upgrade this. We can upgrade this. Can't upgrade the farms. Lexington has been is ready to build. Not ready to build. Will soon be ready to build. You still need to replenish. Okay. Let's hit end turn. Yep, the British are building up Charleston. Austrians are moving on the Italian states. Spanish are going to raid like the swines they are. There we go. We've conquered the Americas to look towards the the Indian nations and we're going to launch our men against them while we see who dukes it out for champion of Europe. Although we definitely do probably want to attack um, Lisbon. Yep. Hector... Hector Ag Aguilar, Aguilar, machine tools, excellent. Um, you're not quite good enough to research that in terms of university size. Preserved foods might be good to increase morale. You're researching wedge, which I don't normally care about. Instead, you can go for power loom. Okay, let's pick up some of our upgrades. There we go. Let's show these native units, these native areas, that we are benevolent overlords. We do not seek to conquer merely for exploitation. We seek to conquer because we we kick ass and we bring the light of reason. So Virginia currently has my lone priest. So that's the 
bad priest. Did the other one die? Maybe. Either way, Theodore can at least siege to Savannah. I'll start to bring the end of the Cherokee Empire. Fleet arrives. So, I see a Mughal area. Pretty weak fleet. Is that all? Yeah, the Danes are there. Let's send our big fleet. I'm going to auto this. Kablooey! Captured their fourth rate. They've fled. We are going to chase them. Carefully avoid this square. What's the result of them? Didn't lose any ships. Don't take any of those ships into the fleet because we, we took their only fourth rate. Set you guys sail back to the Americas. You, my man, can occupy this trade post and provide us with a whole bunch of cash and how many? 241 pounds of spices. Good stuff. Fleet arrives here, mainly to provide protection, although we do want another trade fleet here to replace Mr. Sir Kouf. See, this one's occupied by Greece. So I may actually sell you to West Africa instead. I mean, you've gone the wrong way, but whatever. Mr. Marat, we've sorted him out. Here comes the beginnings of our next fleet. And there we go. Agent detected, Lionel Lejeune. That's my guy. Tenured professor ship, professor ship. I'm not sure what that actually provides. Plus two to research. Oh, research. He's just pretty good. Good news, everyone. Yes, your majesty. Because that was my admiral over here. Let's upgrade this to see if we can lure the Cherokee back. I suspect you guys can't leave yet. Nope, because obviously they're 100% animism and they really hate you. So much so, is it worth... Well, are there any new villages growing? No. It may be worth to cancel this and rebuild this as a religious building to start to spread a bit more Catholicism in this area and also to kind of preload our forces with another Catholic priest before we attack the Mughals. Let's take these fellows. Can you leave Spain? You can now leave Spain successfully. Get to Veracruz. Embark aboard ship. To this little sloop. Position you in Martinique near the Mughals. Pick up another sloop to occupy the uh, port. Pick up the steam pump silver mine. Pick up the farming upgrades. Can you guys leave Guatemala? You can, because we are a benevolent overlord. Enlightenment 56. Growth. Perfect. Okay, let's get you up to. Campeche, Campeche. 24 point turns to Puerto Barros is built. You're on route to Cartagena, which can be upgraded to a commercial basin. Let's pick up these buildings. Let's upgrade everything, because right now we are full steam ahead. As far as the economy goes. So much so, I may end up preemptively attacking uh, mainland Spain ahead of time. No, you're still waiting to upgrade it to a steam dry dock. Oh. So, wait, where did I? Where have I? Hmm. 
must have been... It was one of my dry docks. Was it the one down here? Yes, it was. Okay. So let's build a trade fleet there. Let's build a scuttle the sloop. Let's do the same thing down here. Let's build an Admiral's flagship third rate. Maybe beef it up a bit with some fourths. No, it's Admiral's flagship. Heavy privateer. Oh no, can't build that many of them because I've run out of cash. Okay. I could attack there, but I don't want to. I want them to attack me, very much so. So I'm going to hit end turn. Here comes a British army. Oh no, they're recovering it back to the island. Back to the home island. Were they Japan? Uh, no, just an alliance will do. <laughs> you will have none of my territory, Austria. Uh-oh. They might just be coming to take it. <laughs> oh no. They are after Portugal. Or what's left of Portugal. Well, there isn't There isn't anything left of Portugal. <gasps> Austria's taken Paris. See it? Austria has taken Paris. Holy heck. Okay. This is interesting, because you never normally see Austria do anything too interesting. Venice is on the move. I mean, the Cherokee have taken... Going to take Upper Louisiana. They're going to destroy all my buildings, which is super lame. Prepare for Ooh, and we're being attacked at Savannah. But I am not going to... Well, I am going to fight this battle, but not in this episode. Because looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Louisiana. Because I need to get outside and get some sun and do some exercise. Radio, cheers, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed. <laughs>